Here's a list of the top free tackles and what they got last offseason. Broncos handing Mike McGlinchey five years, $87.5 million. Jawan Taylor, $80 million from the Chiefs, while the Bengals signed Orlando Brown Jr. to a four-year, $64 million deal. So today in our show, we mail everybody how to put their top free agents. Everybody had on way new at the top of Phil, are you going to spend like how much money are you willing to spend on him? I don't think he's making as much as those top two guys there, but I think the third example might be pretty apt. I think four years, 60 ish million, 15 million a year puts him right in line for what he is. Jack Conklin, if you look at it, recently signed with the Cleveland Browns. Really good right tackle. That's what Michael Wenu is. Right tackle, left tackle, a little bit of a difference there in terms of what these guys are paid. And he gets 15 million a year. That's the going rate. If you want a starting tackle, if you don't want to have to completely start fresh at one of the most important positions of the league, you're going to have to cough up some money eventually. They should do it with Oweno. So Sam, why do you think, Kern, the reporting might be that, that the Patriots wouldn't spend that? Like, is it just... I can't be responsible for what Jeremy Fowler does. <laughs> I love Jeremy Fowler, but I would be stunned and amazed if right now the Patriots are at a point where they're crossing players on their like names off the list. Who have been great contributors. If it's an Oweno and his agent type of conversation where they've already established we're not going to go back there, we're going to test the market. Well, they don't know what the Patriots bidding is going to be like post-bill. They never re-signed impending free agents and you end up with an offensive line that is retreads and retreads. That's basically what they've got there. So you do have to ante up at some point. If you don't re-sign Mike and Wendell, where you can make a run at him and you replace him with City So and Antonio Maffi and Connor McDermott, you're basically saying we're still plenty of time away. We're going to spend our money on talent at the skill positions first. And I think that's putting the cart way ahead of the horse because there's a part of me that understands the logic behind moving down at number three and taking Joe Alt or Olufashanu. That's right. Yeah.